Dare to Care is an event that is being organized by the Brockville and Area Food Bank. And the executive director, Haley Jack, is with me, as well as the fundraising chair of that organization, Hannah Zick. Ladies, welcome to the program. Thank you. Thanks for having us. So, Haley, what is Dare to Care? What is it? So it is going to be our annual fundraiser that we host in September. It's the long weekend this year that falls September 3rd. Okay. And it's located at the Brockville Legion in the upper portion in the south lot. Um, it's going to be a breakfast and a lunch um, that we provide and it's a pay what you can event. So the hopes is that everybody can attend um, and those who can give can give big maybe and those who can't can still come and have some fun. Um, we'll be having a silent auction, a yes. vendor fair, mm -hmm. as well as some uh, family friendly things hopefully bouncy castles and face painting and um, so it's a family event it's a family fair yeah. I like it yeah I like it so if people want to either donate or bring food can they bring like food items we're not going to be accepting food items that okay. day okay all right um, we'll save that for October when Rotary does their um, really big harvest sharing food drive okay uh, but we will be accepting monetary donations mm -hmm. uh, throughout the or, uh, throughout the event so at our meal stations of course when you come to pick up your food um, and then also at each um, different um, stations, stations that you have throughout it's, yeah so what is the time of this event it's 9 30 to 2 30. Um, so Han, this is our, this is a fundraiser you people have had to turn to um, other events in order to help sustain the food bank, correct? Yes. So we are very fortunate for the incredible partnerships and donors in our community and the organizations um, that are able to provide back to the food bank. And with the rising costs of food and living, and of course the impact that the last two and a half years have had on our community, um, we got together and we said this is going to be our first ever fundraising event. So we really wanted to be able to join join forces with the yes. community to put on an incredible event that we hope to run year over year. So this will be our staple event. Uh, now there's no admission fee to this, it's free. Yes. So the meals are free. Yes. It's a pay what you can. Yes. So yes. yes. Yeah. Well, yeah. If but somebody can't. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. It was yeah. really important because of the food bank's mission that we didn't want to turn anybody away at the door. Um, we have all been through hard times over yes. the pandemic. And this is a way for people to come out, enjoy some time together, smile, create some memories, especially with the upcoming school year as well. So we wanted to make sure that we just pay what you can. So no one's turned away. That is it's great. And the Legion, it's, it's like, it's all outside, correct? Is there anything inside? Yes, our breakfast oh. will be inside and so okay. will our silent auction and yes. possibly a few family fun activities in the afternoon. That you're but not going to tell me about. It's going to be a secret, <laughs> right? <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. to be shared. <laughs> don't tell Doreen. Yeah, I know. I know you, Haley. Uh, <laughs> okay, so um, uh, this, you're saying you're going, this is a signature event. You're going to have it year after year now? Yes. So September kicks off Hunger Action Awareness Month. Yes. And uh, so we want to make sure that there's one big event every year that really kicks off that month um, because we have such great partnerships uh, and donors throughout the year that really help us sustain the ability to, to provide back to the community. And so this is something where we can all just group together, put our energy and effort into something really big, um, which we're excited about. And what is nice about uh, people that are giving monetary donations, it goes a lot further, does it not, Haley, with your, your purchasing power that you have? Yeah, we're able to bulk purchase when we have the funds at the food bank. So we can get a lot more than this one person going to a grocery store. So it's it's kind of a four four to one buying power. So mm -hmm. for every dollar donated, yes. we can get about four dollars worth of food by bulk purchasing and, and purchasing on sale when we can in bulk. Um, so the day of the event, which is? September 3rd. Okay, September 3rd. Um, if you're taking monetary donations, do they have to be check or cash or can they be um, through uh, a transfer, a bank transfer? Like what do you want people to do? Uh, we will have uh, fish bowls, donation bowls set up around and the people are more than welcome to put in checks or cash there too. Our meals will be cash only or um, yes. free to, of charge if, if needed. Yes. And, um, 
uh, we will have QR codes set up throughout the building so that people can automatically link to our website Perfect. Yeah. and yeah. then donate through some of our online venues if they wish. Oh, you're all set up for everything. You've, you've uh, made sure you've covered out all yes. of it, right? <laughs> we, we welcome the 2020 world. And yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> all this digital stuff, eh? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So what is your hope for the day itself? You don't want rain. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't want rain, but we are, we would still proceed with, we okay. just might not have the outdoor activities, but we are lucky enough to have the indoor space. So we would still have somewhat of an event. Yes. Um, uh, awareness is a huge one. We're going to have some signage around talking about, you know, uh, hunger and poverty mm -hmm. um, in Ontario and also in our region. And just to spread joy and happiness on that day uh, to everyone, all of our donors and community members, and hopefully raise a little bit of money for our wonderful food bank. Yeah. 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 Anything else you want our viewers to know about this particular day, the fun day for the family? Anything else that you want people to know? Well, we are still looking for silent auction items and for market vendors to participate. So if there is anybody out there who would like to either donate an item or would like to set up a table, they can reach Haley at the executive director at Brockland Area Food Bank. Uh, and or they could reach out on the Facebook page as well. So we're more than welcome to to have those donations. Um, but really, if people could share the event page on Facebook, we really want to get this as wide and far as possible just to bring a lot of families together. Uh, young parents, neighbors, friends, you know, grandparents coming along, as Haley said, it's really about that joy and that hope and creating awareness. So mm -hmm. just getting yes. that word out, you know, far and wide is is really our greatest ask. So it sounds like a fun day. Yes, this is our hope, is just to have a, a great day for our community and, mm -hmm. and give back in a way that is given back to us every day, we feel. Got it. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you very much for coming in and sitting down with me. I appreciate that. Thank, Thank you, you for having us. Yeah.